Hey man, it's Doc Farhan. You know me. I don't sugarcoat. I tell you like it is. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm here to get you results. One thing that I notice is that a lot of people are looking for these uh, little spikes in, you know, do, do this diet and take Viagra real quick to fuck a girl and then oh, I'm just going to do this exercise because it kind of works. Or, oh, I'm going to take Adderall for a little while because I have exams. If you give a shit about total wellness, if you want to live a life where you actually impact the world, you leave a legacy on this fucking earth after you die, the generations to come your current family, your, maybe you have a wife and kids now, or your future wife and kids, their kids, their kids. You want people to remember your fucking name. You want to improve the world and leave it better than it is. 95% of guys won't understand this, but you're in the 5% that will. And that's why I'm telling you this right now. Do you want to be 70 and 80, walk around with a cane all handicapped, have to pop Viagra and God knows what other pills or inject your fucking penis before having sex with your wife or your girlfriend or your partner at that time? Do you want to feel low energy and low sex drive? I don't and I'm not gonna. The way I am now, the habits that I've formed right now, and the habits that I've removed, the addictions that I've gotten rid of, that has enabled me to attain total wellness in my life. Wellness in all things, body, mind, spirit, emotions, the people around me. You know, when I first, 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 started this, this journey to establishing a tribe. Putting myself around people who take action and are serious about doing epic shit in the world and becoming super successful. I thought to myself, how does all this relate to the caveman? How does it relate to evolution? And then I started reading about anthropology and how did the tribes live? 200,000 years ago, our homo sapien tribes. And it turns out that when we walked around, we walked in a tribe. We hunted together. We had the same habits. We had the same actions. So if you're living in the world without such a tribe, then your body, your mind is without its basic necessity. So when I tell you, and I talk about the Afro-D Academy, I talk about Afro-D, it is not just some fucking supplement company that we have here. It is the number one support system in the world. There is not a single supplement company in the world that provides this to you, this type of support. You know, the guys inside are serious. They are already achieving epic, epic proportions in what they're doing and what they're going to be doing in the future. We have something real here. The establishing habits, getting these challenges, eliminating the loneliness and social anxiety and sexual anxiety and low libido and all this garbage. That's not the basic necessities of a man. So, I really want to convey this to you, man. Our academy is awesome. You know, when I wake up every day, I check. Hey, what happened yesterday? What, what did all these guys do? You know, so you, someone will post a selfie of meditation. You know, they're meditating. Someone will say, oh, I had this for dinner. I had this amazing meal for dinner. Or, oh, this is how I raw dogged my Afro-D. Or, this is what I did today for my exercise routine. 
or this is a new habit that I'm forming, this is a book I'm reading, this is a job that I just got, this is a client that I just closed. We have some epic, epic guys inside the Afro D Academy. And I'm so proud of them. I'm, I mean, I, I'm lucky, man. I consider myself lucky leading a group of badasses inside the Afro D Academy who all take Afro D every day are on the path towards greatness and just becoming the best versions of ourselves. So if you are that action taker, you are in that 5% who give a shit, then click the button below and join us right now, man, right now. We're all waiting for you on the inside. Once you get in, once you start that journey towards your growth and your success, it'll be the best decision you ever made. That's what I wanted to tell you, man. See you on the inside.